Indeed. Lots but it wasn't too bad. Today, yeah, yeah, indeed. And you know, indeed. Delaware was like the hardest hit for northern yes. Delaware. Newcastle County had some of our highest snow totals. They got in on some of the banding there, and we're talking snowfall rates of an inch an hour at one point. Wow. It was coming down pretty quickly. I'm Luckily, to what was it four? Is, is that about right? Four yeah, inches? about four yeah. inches wow. around Hokesson, around Newark, places like mm -hmm. that. Newcastle mm -hmm. County picked up about three and a half to four inches, depending on where you were. So that was the mm -hmm. hardest hit area. But then we got into a little bit of a break in the action, and that helped things kind of wind down and helped the road crews get out and kind of retreat those roads before the freezing rain and sleet came in and now we're talking about a transition to just plain rain. The accumulating snow is over. Most roads are just wet right now, but the further north you go, the better chance you may have to run into some ice later tonight. So let's take a look at the system as it starts to wind down a little bit. Still dealing with heavy rain later tonight, but as far as the snow is concerned, it fell and looked pretty for a little while, but like our past couple of snowstorms, you didn't get a whole lot of time to go out and play in it. Even the kids, unless you were out there while it was falling, because pretty quickly changed over to rain, freezing rain, drizzle, and that's making it just a slushy mess out there tonight. The road's looking pretty slick up there in Bethlehem where temperatures are below freezing. So even though that just looks wet, I am concerned that there could be some ice and certainly on sidewalks, anything that's not treated, just take it really slow outside tonight. Better to be safe than sorry on these slippery roads. Storm scan three though does show more moisture with this. The storm's not done with us yet, but as we await phase two, temperatures are rising and luckily we have kind of a lull in the precipitation intensity right now. It's coming down pretty lightly, so that means we're kind of reloading, resetting for phase two, which is a rainstorm, and that comes through later tonight and into the overnight hours. So right now it's very light precipitation. If you step outside, depending on where you are, you'll likely feel just a light drizzle outside. But the problem is temperatures across the area are still below freezing in a few spots, starting to see just plain rain in the city with temperatures right around the freezing mark. But to the north, if you have rain falling on a ground that's 30 degrees, if it's not treated, that rain will freeze on contact. That's what we call freezing rain. There's a difference between freezing rain and sleet. Sleet falls partially frozen, little ice pellets, Freezing rain is rain, liquid rain, that falls and freezes when it hits the ground. So that's what we're concerned about in Allentown and Reading here tonight, and certainly in the Poconos, where temperatures are in the 20s and may not rise above the 20s even tonight. So the areas that are below freezing, Willow Grove, Quakertown, Pottstown, Westchester, these are the spots that, even though the precip is light, watch for icy conditions at least through the next few hours. Temperatures, though, do rise rapidly. We're at 33 by 9 p.m., then 36 at 11, and we'll stay in the mid-30s through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. So I've had a lot of People ask, what about tomorrow morning? Are the roads going to be bad? Will schools have delays? They likely will not because temperatures will be above freezing. We're not going to get that cold blast behind this storm. In fact, temperatures actually warm up behind the storm. So for the next hour or so, light freezing rain and sleet. After 7 o'clock, it's all rain in the city, and rain will be heavy at times until 2 a.m. Then we start to track our next system, which comes in this weekend by Saturday afternoon. Some pretty heavy rain. The heaviest is Saturday night into Sunday morning. That will clear out by Sunday mid-afternoon, but it is going to bring some pretty steady rainfall to the region. We'll take a look at our two main models and for the weekend again printing out about anywhere from three quarters of an inch to over an inch of rain but it is just rain this next time as temperatures do warm up tomorrow we're in the 50s any leftover snow and slush will melt tomorrow and into friday with temperatures in the upper 40s saturday 44 degrees sunday 63 degrees and monday back to 45 with a wind from the north and west. But here's the good news. If you look at those low temperatures at the bottom, notice we don't drop below freezing at all right through next week. So there's very, very little concern of anything freezing over mm. in the wake of this system, which is good news for people on the roads tomorrow.